da er vi på Island. Vi kom frem i går kveld og dro rett til hytta til venninne min Sol, som jeg er på nå. Veldig fin utsikt ligger rett ved vannet. Videre i dag skal vi kjøre til et sted som heter Myr i Vik. Jeg vet ikke om jeg sier det på riktig måte. Og så skal vi videre inn til Reykjavik senere. Nå er vi her på en av disse fossene her på Island. Ser den litt i bakgrunnen her. Det pøseregner, så jeg kan ikke filme så veldig mye. Men vi skal prøve å komme oss bort til den her. Borte. Det var veldig mye turister der akkurat nå, så regner det så mye, så det er litt synd, men utrolig flott her. Masse vann på linsa, stank for. Sånn, da er vi fremme i fossen. Det er godt pakket inn. Vi er nå på vei til Island sitt eldste utendørs svømmebasseng. Det er et utrolig stil her. Det ser ut som vi er på en annen planet, liksom. Det er helt utrolig. Forhåpentligvis så er det ikke så veldig mange på det på sengen. Ettersom det er midt i november, og det er kaldt ute. Men det er sånn type 25 grader i dette på sengen. Og det er liksom du må ikke betale for å komme inn eller sånn, så det er veldig sånn pro-Island-typ å stikke innom her. Må vi over elven her, eller? Nei, vi kommer oss over her. Ja. Over her går vi bra. Vi tror ikke det er sånn. Der tror jeg det skal være litt bedre. Ok. Vi er halvveis over elven her. Men det er litt ikke falt ut i. Det er ganske imponerende. Jeg liker å krysse meg, så du gjør ikke noe. Å nei, de går andre veien! Jeg velger alltid den vanskeligste ruta, men jeg kommer over da. De andre er fremdeles nøyde her. Så er det så mye tåk i dag, så det ser veldig sånn misty ut. Mystisk. You live! Da er vi fremme. Dette er Islands første utendørs naturlig oppvarmet svømmesteng. Nå har vi utrolig flaks at det ikke er noen i vannet. Så pent, det er ikke så ille å sitte her og titte utover. Hva er det det heter her, Kjøl? Selv jeg var til å løk. Ja, selv jeg var til å løk. Det er Islands første oppvarmet badebasseng. Det er sånn akkurat passevarmt også. Det er ikke sånn glovarmt, men det er deilig. Det er bare perfekt temperatur. Jeg har ikke noe håndkle, så kommer vi seg opp igjen her. Kommer vi til å løk. Hello, guys! Hello, vlog! Nå har det endelig stoppet å regne, og vi har kommet oss til et sted jeg alltid har lyst til å se. Dette kalles, heter Reines Fjerna, sier det feil, men det er en helt svart strand. Og dette her, nå er det jo turister her da, men dette her er det jeg ser, det er helt nydelig. Og det er tydeligvis veldig, veldig farlig å gå ut i vannet her. Jeg skal ikke bli truffet, for det er bølger liksom oppå bølgene. Så hvis du går ut i her, så blir du sugd ut og dør. Det er utrolig flott her, det her klippene er veldig kjent. Du ser sikkert dem på alle bilder av Island noensinne. It is editing Caroline here and I realized I completely forgot to mention why we were in Iceland. We are in Iceland for a music festival called Iceland Airwaves which is every year in Reykjavik. Okay, you're caught up now. Music festival time. <laughs> Hello, uh, 
Um, it has now been probably a day and a half since I spoke to you last. I'm speaking in English now because I am home alone, um, which I will explain why in a second. Uh, so yeah, uh, the reason why we're here in Iceland was because of a music festival called Iceland Airwaves, which I've never been to before. So this is the first time. Um, I have encountered a small problem during this trip, which is that I, <laughs> I've been having a lot of panic attacks, um, or anxiety attacks or whatever you want to call them, I don't even know. Um, you see, I, everyone who meets me, you'll probably say that I'm a very social person. I am not scared of talking to anyone and I will talk your head off um however i'm not very good in social settings over several days because i happen to be an extreme introvert which i'm a social introvert i know it sounds like a weird mix but that's how it is um so i was absolutely fine the first day when we were traveling um but then we have since been joined since we arrived to Reykjavik where we are right now we've been joined by some more people and i think we're a group of six girls and i only know one of these girls so there's been a lot of new people and uh, in a new setting and for some reason that has been a weird mix for me as well as, as i said we are at a music festival so it's been a lot of like really crowded locations a lot of noise um we're all sharing a room <laughs> and um yeah yesterday we went to a concert and i like fully like i don't usually get like that bad with panic attacks it's usually like internal and i'm just like mm, don't freak out don't freak out but this one was like bad and i like couldn't I felt like I couldn't breathe etc so um, I left early and I was like kicking myself properly when I got home because you know when you're the only one out of six people that goes home you, d you feel like kind of an idiot and the thing is like if I ever get panic attacks back home I can just go home you know like it's not a big deal but since we're all like in one place and we have one key so of course I have to stay up until everyone else gets home I can't just like go home and go to bed you know um, but yes, yeah, so I felt like such a loser yesterday and I was really kicking myself and then today we went to another concert which was like much better because you had seats and it was like calming music. <laughs> um, so that wasn't bad at all. But then we went to a, a pub now um, and it got really, really crowded. I suddenly couldn't find my friends and you know, it was like one of those like pushing situations where you're like, I felt like I was being pushed backwards, so uh, I ended up just leaving, and I just got home now, and again, I'm the first one out of um, the six, six girls to get home, and yeah, I was just like, instead of trying to just find my friends, I just like panicked and I couldn't deal with it, deal with it and I just went home so here we are also since I don't know these people and I've been in a constant state of panic since I got here I haven't really felt like vlogging and that's always awkward in front of um people you don't know so um I'm taking the opportunity now that that I have the place for myself <laughs> but yeah I just want to mention what was going on I feel like when people you watch travel vlogs and it would look so cool but you don't sort of see the side so I just figured I would just mention what is going on even though I sort of like gave up tonight as well I'm not gonna kick myself about it because that's stupid you shouldn't do that but yeah so panic attacks anxiety attacks not good um definitely ruining this holiday a little bit but yeah we'll just deal with it and that's life I guess I I'm not and I won't ever be and I don't think I ever have been that person who can just like stay up all night partying with people like that's not my scene at all so so yeah um definitely enjoy the traveling portions of this trip a lot more they'll have two days left of the festival so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film or not we'll find out <laughs> day of the trip and everyone has now left me to go back to Norway I'm going back to the UK I thought I would quickly show you the place that we rented for the week um, it is in the middle of the main street in Reykjavik so it's pretty central you have the main sort of shopping street right here 
Um, yeah, it's very nice. It's not too big. It's a one bedroom. The only thing problem is this sofa is ridiculous. Nobody can fit <laughs> sitting up in the sofa because I don't know. I think you don't have to even be tall to fit in this one. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we have a TV, we have a table, little bathroom, and then we all shared this bedroom right here. So yeah, those are home for the week. But yeah, I have to head off now. I'm so tired <laughs> from this week. I feel like I used to do music festivals all the time and I was absolutely fine with it, but this one like killed me. <laughs> me again. All right, so I didn't want to end the video sort of on a bad note. As I said, I did have like severe travel anxiety. I have no idea how that happened because that's not something I've ever had before. Iceland is a stunning country and I was so happy to be back. I went there when I was like 13 uh, with the same friend. So that was, <laughs> that was really nice to sort of go back together. And as I mentioned, I love the traveling portion so much more than the actual music festival part. It was a really good music festival. I'm not trashing on that. It was just me and my <laughs> weird anxiety with uh, crowded spaces. <laughs> I sort of put a damper on it. But yeah, overall it was a good trip. I would definitely do it again I just wish that my my head was cooperating a bit more but as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon bye